Some claim that Maya Amschel Rothschild was born Maya Amschel Burr and changed his name to Rothschild after the death of his father. But much of the mainstream tells us that the name Rothschild can be traced back to the 15th century. Both stories agree that they took the name from a house they occupied and some accounts claim that Maya Amschel Rothschild hung a red shield above the entrance of his shop. Inside the shield, according to some accounts, there was a double-headed eagle. Others claim it was a hexagram, like the Star of David, as seen on the Israeli flag, known in Hebrew as the Shield of David. A hexagram is a six-pointed geometric star. It is also one of the most ancient symbols and on the outside of many Masonic temples as a decoration. Albert G. Mackey in the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry explains its Masonic meaning. The interlacing triangles or deltas symbolize the union of the two principles or forces, the active and passive, male and female, pervading the universe. The two triangles, one white and the other black, interlacing typify the mingling of apparent opposites in nature, darkness and light, error and truth, ignorance and wisdom, evil and good throughout human life. The seal of Solomon is a ring that God given to King Solomon. The ring gave King Solomon power to command demons or the jinn or even speak with animals. The ring was made from brass and iron and was believed to be directly from heaven. It is usually depicted with either a pentagram or a hexagram engraving on the face of it. In Islamic traditions, a hadith claims a beast will emerge from the earth. With it shall be the ring of Solomon and the staff of Moses. It will brighten the face of the believer and stamp the nose of the disbeliever with the ring. An hexagram is sometimes used in Catholic churches. It is sometimes called the star of creation. It is also used in Buddhism, Hindu and the occult. In the occult, the six-pointed star is commonly used as a talisman. A talisman is an object which contains certain magical properties. It was sometimes believed to provide good luck to the holder and sometimes offer protection from evil or harm. By the early years of the 19th century, Maya Amschel Rothschild had consolidated his position as principal international banker to Prince Wilhelm of Hesse. He began to issue his own international loans and borrowing capital from the Landgrave. Details on the life of Maya Amschel Rothschild are sketchy, but what is clear is he had started something that was going to make him and his family very rich for a very long time. Researcher Paul Johnson writes, The Rothschilds are elusive. There is no book about them that is both revealing and accurate. Libraries of nonsense have been written about them. A woman who planned to write a book entitled Lies About the Rothschild abandoned it, saying it was relatively easy to spot the lies, but it proved almost impossible to find out the truth. He writes that unlike the court of Jews of earlier centuries, who had financed and managed European noble houses but often lost their wealth through violence or expropriation. The new kind of international bank created by the Rothschild 
was impervious to local attacks, their assets were held in financial instruments circulating through the world as stocks, bonds and debts. According to some reports, Maya Amschel Rothschild made a will days before he died. This will set out rules that future Rothschilds must follow to allow the family to keep their wealth. All key positions of the House of Rothschilds were to be held by members of the family and not Ioannans. Only male members are allowed to participate in business. The oldest son of the oldest son was the head of the family unless the majority of the family agreed otherwise. Nathan was the third oldest son but was thought to be particularly brilliant and appointed the head of the house of Rothschild in 1812 upon the death of Maya Amschel Rothschild. The family was to intermarry with their own first and second cousins, allowing them to preserve their vast fortune. Biographer Frederick Morton in The Rothschilds tells us that Maya Amschel Rothschild and his five sons were wizards of finance and fiendish calculators who were motivated by a demonic drive to succeed in their secret undertakings. In recent years, the internet has become flooded with information regarding the Illuminati, the Rothschild family, and there is undoubtedly a lot more information that is easily accessible today than there was 15 or 20 years ago. Many conspiracy theories point out that much of the information is false, put there by people that actually indirectly work for the Illuminati or the Rothschilds. Like World War II, there are so many lies about the Illuminati, it becomes a challenge telling what is truth and what is not. The official story of the Illuminati is, the society's goals were to oppose superstition, obscurantism, religious influence over public life and abuses of state power. The order of the day, according to their statutes, were to put an end to the machinations of the purveyors of injustice, to control them without dominating them. The Illuminati, along with Freemasonry and other secret societies, were outlawed through the edict by Bavarian ruler Charles Theodore with the encouragement of the Roman Catholic Church. In the several years following, the group were vilified by conservative and religious critics who claimed that they continued underground and were responsible for the French Revolution. Most people believe that this was the beginning of the end of the Illuminati. Some, however, believe that the Illuminati may not only have survived attacks from the powerful and influential Catholic Church, but are in fact still operating today. And more powerful than ever, controlling nearly everything we read and watch, as well as our politicians and the Catholic Church. It's a theory that sounds far-fetched to some, but we should consider the fact that a very tiny proportion of people own a huge proportion of the world's land and wealth.
These so-called conspiracy theories claim that the Illuminati are occultists withholding valuable information from people. Some claim that the Illuminati have infiltrated other sections of society as well as secret societies like the Freemasons, the governments, banks, corporations, media and religions. In his 1993 book, Conspirators Hierarchy, the story of the Committee of 300, Dr. John Coleman listed what he claims are the 21 goals of the Illuminati. One, to establish a one world government slash new world order with a unified church and monetary system under their direction. Two, to bring about the utter destruction of all national identity and national pride. 3. To engineer and bring about the destruction of religion, and more especially the Christian religion, with one exception, their own creation. 4. To establish the ability to control of each and every person through the means of mind control. 5. To bring about the end of all industrialisation. To end production of nuclear generated electric in what they call a post zero growth society. 6. To encourage and eventually legalise the use of drugs and make pornography an art form. 7. To bring about depopulation of large cities. 8. To suppress all scientific development except for those that is beneficial for the Illuminati. 9. To cause limited wars in advanced countries and starvation and diseases in third world countries. Dr. John Coleman claims that the Illuminati wants to rid the planet of 3 billion people by the year 2050. Ten, to weaken the moral fibre of the nation and to demoralise the working class. 11. To keep people everywhere from deciding their own destinies by means of one created crisis after another and then managing such a crisis. This will confuse and demoralise the population. Apathy on a massive scale will result. To introduce new cults and continue the boost of those already functioning. To continue the built up cult of Christian fundamentalism, begun by the British East Indians Company's servant Derby, which will be misused to strengthen the Zionist state, by identifying with the Jews through the myth of God's chosen people and by donating very substantial amounts of money to what they mistakenly believe is a religious cause in reference to Christianity. To export religious liberation ideas around the world so to undermine all existing religions, especially Christianity. To cause a total collapse of the world's economies. To take control of all foreign and domestic policies in the USA. To give the fullest support to the supranational institutions such as the United Nations, the International Monetary Fund, the Bank of International Settlements, the World Court and, as far as possible, make local institutions less effective by gradually phasing them out or bringing them under the mantle of the UN. 19. To penetrate and subvert all governments and work within them to destroy sovereign integrity of all nations represented by them. Twenty to organise a worldwide terrorist apparatus. Twenty one to take control of education in America with the intent and purpose of utterly and completely destroying it.
The Illuminati are said to aid in playing sight and use symbolism of a message of showing their occultist beliefs on a subliminal level, as well as showing each other that they are indeed members of the Illuminati or other secret societies. The most obvious and Nazi symbol of the Illuminati is the Eye of Providence. It is sometimes called the All-Seeing Eye. It is seen on the American $1 bill. Sometimes the eye is located above an unfinished pyramid. This symbol has been connected with secret societies like the Illuminati and Freemasons for hundreds of years. The all seeing eye can be seen on the French Declaration of Human Rights. Some claim that Maya Amschel Rothschild was born Maya Amschel Burr and changed his name to Rothschild after the death of his father. But much of the mainstream tells us that the name Rothschild can be traced back to the fifth woman. The ring gave King Solomon power to command demons or the jinn or even speak with animals. The ring was made from brass and iron and was believed to be directly from heaven. It is usually depicted with either a pentagram or a hexagram engraving on the face of it. In Islamic traditions, a hadith claims a beast will emerge from the earth. With it shall be the ring of Solomon and the staff of Moses. It will brighten the face of the believer and stamp the nose of the brute as the shield of David. A hexagram is a six-pointed geometric star it is also one of the most ancient symbols and on the outside of many Masonic temples as a decoration. Albert G. Mackey in the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry explains its Masonic meaning. The interlacing triangles or deltas symbolize the union of the two principles or forces, the active and passive, male and female, pervading the universe, the two triangles, one white and the other black, interlacing typify the mingling of apparent opposites in nature, darkness and light, error and truth, ignorance and wisdom, evil and good throughout human life. The seal of Solomon is a ring that God given to King Solomon century. Both stories agree that they took the name from a house they occupied and some accounts claim that my Amschel Rothschild hung a red shield above the entrance of his shop. Inside the shield, according to some accounts, there was a double-headed eagle. Others claim it was an hexagram, like the Star of David, as seen on the Israeli flag, known in Israel.